Oh, Aaron Rodgers. The man who walked into the Jets like he owns the place. I mean, it's like a drama unfolding with him as the lead actor. Who knew getting traded to a new team could be more theatrical than a Broadway show? He's probably got his own dressing room with a sign that says the legend, while the rest of the Jets are just trying to figure out how to share the field with a diva, a true Shakespearean tragedy. Have you ever seen a player strut into a locker room like they're royalty on a world tour? That's our boy Aaron. The Jets must have thought they were signing a quarterback, but surprise, they got a reality TV star. Next thing you know, he's hosting Keeping Up With The Jets, and we're all just extras in his epic drama. Forget about touchdowns, we're getting cliffhangers. It's the kind of reality show where you just can't look away, but you're also kind of disappointed. Chris Canty wasn't holding back when he called Rogers a cancer for the Jets. And let's be real, that's probably the most colorful diagnosis we've heard since the last time someone tried to explain a bad hair day. It's hard to tell if it's football they're playing or if it's a reality series about interpersonal relationships. Maybe they should just hand out awards for best supporting player instead of best quarterback. Rodgers must be hoarding all the team's attention and drama like it's his personal treasure chest. He's that overzealous waiter at a restaurant monopolizing the spotlight while the rest of the players just want to order in peace. I can almost hear them whispering behind his back, hey, can someone just get us a quarterback who doesn't need an audience? Can we get a group discount for therapy sessions for his teammates? Because they might need it soon. Every time the Jets huddle up, you can practically hear them thinking, is this play going to make Aaron happy? Because heaven forbid he gets moody the guy could probably throw a 90-yard touchdown while simultaneously attempting to hold a meeting about his feelings. It's not just football. It's a full-on emotional intervention. And when did the playbook become a How to Handle Aaron's Mood Swings book? We're here for touchdowns, not therapy sessions. Imagine being a rookie on the Jets. You think it's your time to shine, but then you're met with the Rogers drama. Talk about a baptism by fire. Instead of practicing plays, they're likely practicing how to avoid stepping on Aaron's toes, metaphorically and literally. Forget about developing skills, kids. It's all about acquiring social finesse. Who knew getting into the NFL came with a side of navigating celebrity egos? So as we spiral down this rabbit hole of Roger's antics, we have to wonder, is he the problem? Or is he just whipping up a chaos cocktail for dramatic effect? Seriously, are the Jets here to play football or audition for a soap opera? What do you think, folks? Will Aaron's reign of drama lead the Jets to the promised land, or is it all just one big reality show we didn't sign up for? Like and subscribe, please.